our uh, jet wash hose has just split. Starts up nicely, we've got two keys, we've got our service book. It's bought an RS4. Like, what's the best way to drive a ceramic coat of car? Bloody hell, Jason. Jason's got someone coming in to view this in a minute. It needs a bit of finagling. Finally got a lead on the bloody silver golf. Win me! We're on 36 so far with three days to go. Naturally, best car bought. There's never any problems with bloody ballot and cars, the hopes are always good. Balls. That's a fluffy dice. Come on, mate, surely in the golf. <laughs> Come on, do you want some uh, fluffy dice in the Oh my god, yeah, they would look well good in there. <laughs> People will definitely be moving out of my way then in the third lane. They see those in their uh, rear view. <laughs> Our uh, jet wash hose has just split. No! Yeah. So we'll get you to do that, and then at some point today, I need you to fit a battery in a mini at the farm. Yeah, the farm looks really good. Okay, How long did it take? Four hours? Nah. Really? It's only a couple of hours, I guess. That's really good, actually. Oh, no, I just organised all the yeah, cars because they're all like kind of just whatever and I went through and I photographed and listed on yeah. Shifting Metal Park Exchange Gold oh, yesterday, yeah. like 10 <laughs> cars just to get rid of them. You wait till Mark sees this Audi A4 Quattro, mate. He's going to want this rather than his crappy A5 Sport Mech. It's a goddamn arms race. It used to be quite emo, you know? I thought emo was a thing. Skateboarder, baggy jeans, blue bolt jeans, and all that sort of stuff. I'll go in and collect this bad boy. What have we got? I'm an Audi. <laughs> so look out for a Audi A4. Black. Black edition. Oi, oi. Where is it? I think that's it, no. No, that's no. not it. No, it's got, um, it's row B. Oh yeah, I guess you said it's black. Uh, uh, I guess I think it's got like the turbine style wheels on it. Which one's D? A, B, C, copy this row over here. I take it back, it's not really black, is it? It's no. Like dark mineral grey. Half leather interior. The turbine style wheel, doesn't it? Cheddar Schmetz. This is a Witter tow bar. Good job Dan's not here because he's just banging on it. Oh, Witter. Witter's good. Oh, that's a good tow bar. Right, I'll come get a tray plate and we'll get back to the ranch. Starts up nicely. We've got two keys. We've got our service book. We've even got a centre brake light fault. Cruise control, heated seats, auto lights. We've even got a magnet for my phone. Gearbox is the thing that's the most likely to upset me in this. Hopefully it'll be alright. We've even got, that's usually a cause for concern. We've got, I'm going to turn the radio down. We've got 205 miles of range, which is just under half a tank. Not 
many people part exchange or sell their car with a lot of fuel left in it. But could be innocent, doesn't necessarily mean they uh, start having immediate problems and want to get rid of the car. Gearbox seems really nice actually. Every car I get in has the lumbar support at its like furthest most out. We are obviously a nation of bad backs. What about the uh, flappy paddlers? Please enter a command or say help. So this car's a 64 plate, 2014, on 115,000 miles now. So this car is a 2014 64 plate, and it's on 115,000 miles. So it's slightly leggier than I want. My, I guess my new sort of buying criteria, hoping to avoid, you know, some problems at least, is like 10 years old, so 2014, bang on and 100,000 miles. Obviously this is over that, but I think I'm having to like broaden my horizons out a little bit from that set of rules because struggling to, you know, buy as much as I need or with the right margins in. So I'm allowing myself a little bit of leeway. From this, for example, it fits 10 years, but it's got a little bit more mileage on it. So I've probably got up to 120, 125 maybe, so long as it's 10 years old. Likewise, I will buy a car that's a bit older than 10 years old, so long as it's under that 100,000 miles, ideally quite far under. And I think that's the sort of policy I want to follow, I think. Um, and so far, so good. This seems to be very nice indeed, and it doesn't feel like it's done 115,000 miles. To be fair, the A5 Sportback as well that we got, and Mark, the Valator, has ended up having, that also felt really good for the mileage. I tend to find, like, I think, like some of the German stuff starts to feel a bit loose and rattly and not as premium once you get over that 100,000 mile mark, but I think if they've been well looked after, so good history is another like part of the buying criteria. It needs to tick all these different boxes and so far it's panned out okay so uh some people are probably be saying i thought you're gonna buy like lower mileage stuff but that's that's what's happening a little bit of leeway either way got like a service history um mot or at least if it doesn't have mot or it's got a short mot not a bad mot history seems pretty obvious stuff really but uh, it's easy to get tempted and in reasonable good condition I don't mind being able to point point one or two things that need sorting out wheels and a dent or a couple of dents or something but you know not a whole project of a load of stuff to do ideally under 10 years old but maybe a few years older if it's got good mileage under 100,000 miles unless it's a modern car with you know, unless it's under 10 years old and ticks all the other boxes. And yeah, service history, two keys, not essential, but again, helps argue the case if the, you know, mileage is a bit higher or the age is a bit older. Yeah, seems to be working so far. Anyone can buy Fiestas and Focuses and make 500 quid, bid on the same stuff that everyone else wants because it's easy to sell and have them, but it's, not, it's, just, yeah. it's the same amount of work for a car with much less margin in it. So um, that's the uh, that's the theory we're going by at the moment. Obviously, our jet wash is down at the moment, not working. But it's three o'clock, and I think we could stick this in our showroom. It's pretty clean anyway, so we can give it like a waterless wash some rapid detailer get the residues and everything off and it just wants a little light hoover around nothing too crazy and I want this car photographed and listed by the end of the day ideally because we've got five more that I've bought today this is number six 
and I think um, what have we got left? Five to go. I think four of them are at Bridgewater, so I'll be trying to get as many of those picked up tomorrow as I can. Bear in mind we don't have Macaulay, so Toby and I are going to be busy. Joe Soul, and the dirt is gone. Oh, good morning. Hiding in the dark, like a creep. You're wondering why it's so dark? The lights weren't on. <sighs> uh, Joe, I've got this um, window, window, who said white murder for Anita, uh, okay. I was going in the other day. Um, the first step, you're saying, ask you first, can I book it in here? If not, he's off the door private. Um, we bought it, so she needs to set with us for that, but we need like an hour to fix it. Whatever, yeah, we'll do it here. Oh, good a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and it gets it like bone dry. I told you it was good, didn't I? <laughs> I can get a lot of that. Yeah, I get a lot of that all weekend. Just bought an RS4. Uh, how much? Seventeen four. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't get too I bought this one. I'd love it for myself, but yeah. I can't afford it. But um, it's a nice colour. It's got loads of. It's got eight grand of options on it, including the wing back bucket seats. I'll make a good wife one day, won't I? Ha <laughs> ha. Design that thing. Why is it twice a done that? And why isn't it latched in? The good news is I get to hoover it up again. You just need to remember that the top, it just falls apart. That's what you get for buying Jeff Bezos' knockoff version of the Dyson. So the Dallas Hobie is one of them. What are you doing? Some Toreg stuff. I did um this came off and it broke. Yeah. Bit of glue if you get me. Um no I'll take the door card off because the handles don't work. Because yeah. they are broken. Broken. Huh? Broken. Broken. But yeah. If it's the same as like a Jetta or a Golf, then it's quite simple, but I'm not sure if it is. I assume it is. It's a T20. Let's go with T20. I didn't bring a T20 with me, but a 25. I don't think it's a T20. No! Why is there no. I've got enough. I'm not sure why there's... Are you fucking serious? What the fuck is this about? No. So basically... How many of you got left? And there's no T20. You know what, I give up. Yeah. He's about to behave. That's it. Yeah, I know. I've been asked to check it. Let's take it off. Okay. It just needs a bowden game. The problem is, is, there's no management in this place. So nobody really knows what's going on. 
I reckon there's another screw somewhere that I can't find. No, I'll use Google. Oh shit, mate. I think I'm just gonna scrap it. <laughs> yeah, so cool getting out of that, falling out of it. Um, that's what you wanna grab the droning and stuff. You too. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sometimes you've only got a ceramic coat of car, and people are like, what's the best way to dry a ceramic coat of car? Oh, yeah. It's with low pressure water. That's, like That's not like a hose pipe. Yeah. So it didn't really work on that. So Jason's back now, isn't he? Someone's like, nope. If you take the end off, it, yeah. That's what I do in mine. I turn the pressure off, so I take the end off. It's even more of a spray. Mine doesn't do that. Right, just a quick mention today for Top Don, who have very kindly sponsored this video, and they're offering a very good discount on these Top Don Jump Surge 1500s. This is an upgrade from the one that I normally use. I carry around a JS1200, which starts most things. But just to prove a point, look, this thing has been sat on my desk. If we do a power, it's got one out of four bar charge, so 25%. This five litre V8 SL500 that just refuses to leave my life, and stop causing me problems. Uh, we're gonna put it down the farm because we need to send it to a Mercedes specialist to get the roof working. But in the meantime, it is gone flatty, flatty flatters. So we've got nothing there. Let's chuck the jump surge 1500 on, on 25% charge, I might add. Show you how good these things are. Which one's positive? That one, wasn't it? Hit the boost and then fire up. Just like that. How good does that sound? It's a proper bit of kit, this thing. It's 
tiny, stick that in your bag, you've got a torch on it and you can charge your phone, like I quite often do, your laptop, whatever from it. Like I say, there is a deal in the description of this video where you can get 20% off making these things £47.99, which is an absolute bargain. You can't afford not to have one really, so check out the link and get one bought. Jason, <laughs> didn't know we had it in him. Jason's got someone coming in to view this in a minute, so I've been out to the Barrow Motors premium storage site, aka the farm. Grab this bad boy. And let's give it a little spruce up. Before you do that, I'm going to try to have a quick look. Mm -hmm. The head unit thing in that, where what's his face had it out, it's like now got a clip that should be tucked under. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You've got the um, you've got you've got head unit you've removed from the side of you because I haven't got mine here anymore. Yeah, yeah. What what one is it? In I don't the, know if you can decide. Let's have a let's have a shifty. Oh, I see. I see. It needs a bit of finagling. Are you ready for this? Cool. Finagled. Done. I have finagled the thing. Well, that's what it's on about there, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, the, the tab was sticking out. It was on the other side oh, of the dashboard. Yeah, I can't, I can't fix the fact that the plastic's got a little bit of a warp to it. It's, but bent it, isn't it? it's also got a tyre pressure jobby, so I don't know if you can just quickly reset it, because the tyre pressure's all look all right. Uh, that evoked really popular, that brain one. Yeah. Seems to be plenty of leads on that, lots of excited punters. It's value, that's the thing. Yeah. Because of the mileage. And also, I think the same as like that, people have gone through the MOT history, which looks good by the sounds of it. Hello, do you like the colour? Yeah. You want to tell me as well? Oh. I'll get this to work. 
I was working though. The demo. Will the traitor remain? Yeah. This is over how it is. last night and he was talking about wire and blah 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 snapped so I didn't know what the hell he was talking about but he means the emergency light to get it into neutral. Um, yeah, so he's basically abandoned it, we can't move it. Wonderful, awesome isn't it? I mean if all, he's not an idiot, it's like all the places to put it, <laughs> why stick in front of not just one but two garage doors? And we didn't even know it was coming either. <laughs> Someone's arrived in a Skoda. Yeah. New flag day. It's five glass, mate. It's like bee! Oh. Yeah, I have a look and I'm like a foot away and then suddenly I'm a bit close and then suddenly I'm close. <laughs> He's crashing around me. Everyone's suddenly finding reasons to move it, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So they can fire it up. Oh, I need to move it, sir. Oh, the guy I met today was a fan as well. Oh, that's right. Lovely. Neil, cool guy. Neil did. Everyone is a fan. Yeah, everyone. Everyone, everyone loves me, and, and apart from anyone who knows me in their personal life. <laughs> you got no fans. You got no friends. <sighs> I did have friends at one time. The friends right in. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what annoys me about YouTube comments. Because I'm not like well hard, mate. But if you know the, the attitude that some people have in the comments, a I know they wouldn't say it to my face, but b I would slap the f***ing taste out of their mouth. <laughs> so not so much me, you can say what you want about me, I don't give a shit, but you start like being mean about people that work for me, or Sophie, well actually you can be mean about Sophie, she's a mob, but you know, just kidding. <laughs> Goes under the wheel, so we can park the quarter out the front, let people know about the competition days. That's when we go to like the Porsche races, take some cars maybe in the summer. By the time we're on to the next competition, you might see us there, you never know. I'm going to take the RS4. Oh, I could do. I don't think the RS4 would be here, mate. It's going to be sold, isn't it? Or the Porsche. And I didn't think about the Porsche, but the Porsche's coming back later today. Do you know what? I could really do with the money. So, you know, that's like 25 grand of just my own money, so I can't put that on a stocking plan or anything. It'd be nice to have that back, actually. We'll see. Silver Golf. 
That's good. So I think we need to do something for that. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it is a pan out of reduced rate now, so we've still got enough profit in it. But yeah, I can't remember. What, I was going to drop the price, but I can't remember what we had it for. So, uh, it was. I can't tell actually. I know it was pretty good. Yeah, I'll find out before I do anything drastic. What's she looking at, Jace? Jack. Okay. He. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought I saw a woman walking out there. Oh, they're both together. Do you just have one on open today, do you reckon? Mm, should be, till at least one o'clock. Yeah. It's a right mess. Competition car, I'm gonna get my flag out. Just gonna put it on the front that says win me. Now, do I do something clever here? Because I'm gonna stick the plate on the front, but do I do it in yellow? Because we were like, what's that? It's got the wrong number. Oh, it says win me! <laughs> win me! Sometimes my own genius scares me. That's a Jerry Clarkson quote, isn't it? People are like, you can't do that. That's illegal. You can't have the wrong number plate when it's on the forecourt. Blah, 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 blah. The people who complain about that sort of thing, when we end up in our sort of uh, our big brother future, you know, where the government monitor everything we do and they give us government supplied dinner and give us, what's the film? Uh, can't remember. Anyway, it's got Christian Bale in it. And it's like you're not allowed to have emotions because emotions create, you know, wars and whatever. So they give you a pill and you have to take your pill. And um, Continuum, I think it's called. One day when we end up in that world where the government controls everything, we're not allowed emotions and, you know, you need to, if you think someone's feeling, then you better report them. The type of people complain about things like, oh, we've got the wrong number plate on there, you shouldn't have that on the forecourt. And, you put the wrong price in the car, you have to sell it to me legally for £500 because the zero dropped off the end. They're the type of people who grass you up for the government. Oh, this? Yeah. That um, we bought for, you know, the nice white evoke? Uh, in fact, we did a video on the white evoke, so we'll put that over here. Um, and I said the seat wouldn't move. It was going like, Meh! and whatever. Something to do with the motors on the bottom. Mm. was knackered so we couldn't find a seat oh, we, oh god we did find a seat obviously i don't think it was quite a perfect match but it had the correct motors and everything on the bottom so we bought this off ebay for 100 quid and fitted the motors on the bottom now we've got a spare seat thought i might keep it as like a desk chair or something mm. but probably won't it'll probably just end up on a scrap heap um him racing, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure he wants to race around the track <laughs> pretending he's a Range Rover or a boat. Which I'm not even allowed to call a Range Rover. Got told off for calling it. What was it? Disco Sport video. Because it was a Range Rover. No, not Disco Sport. Range Rover Sport. And the title of my video was I bought a Range Rover at auction. Got a right telling off from the president of the Range Rover Vogue wanky loser association that's not a proper range rover don't call it that that waters down the name of the range i was like i'm sorry mate land rover the ones who decided to call it a range rover not me <laughs> oh it's not a proper range rover though be careful what you write before you do a video get a f***ing life how is that for a month then? that's another two today what two of you oh so the t-rock and that i think i already wrote the t-rock on there because i assumed it was done but, you hadn't written the S90 on, which you're doing the swap for the Jeep, but it's still a deal, isn't it? Do I want to put it on there? I put it on my cushion. So yeah, I can go on there. Oh no, you did. Oh, uh, you did. Have double booked I it. did it late. So then add the 520 on. We're on 36 so far with three days to go. You might sell the t uh, oh, yeah, TT tomorrow. Be, and the Jag. S someone wants to come for the Jag tomorrow. And then you've got Monday and Tuesday. What's the record in a month then? We've beaten it. We won't have done that many. Excellente. You wouldn't have done it about Dan, though, would you? That's no, thing. definitely not. Definitely not. Or me. I even I've sold one. Let's be honest, it's a team effort. Although I'm good. <laughs> 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 I'd want it. Yeah, so it's a salesman. We 
because, well, they're silent. And then you stick them, there's different varieties. You can have ones that hang in the window, ones that stick there. Sometimes if you're in a showroom, you've got ones that stand in front. Oh, that's it's like just they drive the wheels over. Yeah, they are. stand. Um, but yeah, just because people can come and they can read all the information about the car and just will sign themselves. And we're not selling a child. That's not what this is about. In this instance, the science says when we're trying to raise money for this child. Oh, shame it would have been impounded by the police over the weekend for illegal use of a number plate. Yeah. See, I reckon that's a bit more eye-catching than just a white one, don't you? Yeah. I don't like the flag though, should I put it on the other side because it's blowing this way? Yeah, maybe. There we are. So let that serve as a reminder that if you haven't bought your tickets for the course of VXR, or £5,000 if you prefer, two runners at prizes of Casio watches, custom watches, um, yeah, hit the link in the description. Right, what next? We've got to do feel best car bought, best car sold yet, haven't we? Right then. Best car bought and best car sold, I'm going to say, well, naturally, best car bought, the RS4, which is parked over there because I'm going to take it home for the weekend because why wouldn't you? I mean, the, the uh, Porsche 911 is also back, so I was tempted to take that, and I was going to put up a poll, which would you take, but I haven't really had time, so just take that. Why not? And best car sold, I'm going to say that Ford Cougar over there, only because... Uh, I listed it online the night before I actually picked it up, or Macaulay picked it up from BCA, and it sold in that time. No advertising, no pictures taken. Still got auction stickers on it, but they came and test drove it, loved it, sold. Done. Right, that's it. I can't keep you too long because, um, well, I'm keeping Toby. He is your eyes and ears for these videos, and he'll be charging me overtime and can't really afford it. So. Yeah, that was it for this week. Hope it was interesting. I can't remember what happened, to be honest. That's just, it's just a whirlwind of things going on. But if you have enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. It feeds my ego like you wouldn't believe when we get lots of nice likes on a video. So, yeah, that's good for everyone, really. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm giving away a watch. I bang on about it all the time, but, you know, we won't go into the details, but you can win a watch if you subscribe. It's nice, isn't it? It's worth doing. And don't forget to check out the raffle. We already talked about that. If you want to sell a car, go to carswalksmore.com. If you want to see our cars, go to barometers.co.uk. That is it, really. Thank you very much for watching once again. We'll see you same time next week. Bye-bye.